Our other project in the West Bank, we've been running for 14, 15 years now. Um, and we see patients who have complex mental health needs generated by occupational violence and settler violence. So patients who have either been impacted directly by settler violence or they have been victims of the result of inter intergenerational trauma from the occupation. So we see quite a lot of family violence, sexual and gender-based violence. We have six psychologists. We have also a number of social workers and a medical doctor who's being trained by one of MSF's psychiatrists to provide basic psychiatric care. Um, and we support people who need more input from a mental health perspective than can be provided by psychological first aid or the community mental health service in the West Bank, which is very, very stretched. Also link in with the local services and try to support the Ministry of Health and their mental health services. And it's been quite challenging during COVID because we needed to go online with lots of the services that we're providing. We started running telehealth essentially, providing telemental health to our patients who could have access to the internet at home. We also provided materials for patients to access the internet at home, so patients who were provided with mobile phones. We also um, spent a lot of time making sure that patients were safe and, for, and able to have a conversation in private at home um, or whether they needed, in fact, to come to the clinic. The COVID has impacted significantly our work in, in Nablus because we've had to take almost our, our whole service online and certainly I think we have felt acutely that we've lost some of the therapeutic um, engagement because we've had to talk to somebody um, through a screen. But we have been able to continue almost the same number of appointments as we were doing before. In terms of more broadly in Gaza, um, it's been really difficult to continue activities because you can't uh, do surgery online unfortunately um, and so we've had restrictions from the authorities meaning that we couldn't work um, at the usual frequency and also just the measures that we need to put in place that take more time um, to keep everybody safe have, have meant that we have decreased the frequency of our surgical activities and also other hands-on activities where we would normally have a large volume of patients in the outpatient department um, receiving services. A lot of that has been spread out over time, so people are having a delay in, in their appointments. Um, we did move some services to different models. So we did therapeutic patient education, physiotherapy online. We also did delivery of home dressing kits and our psychosocial support was online also. So I think we've done our absolute best to adapt to the COVID paradigm as everybody is existing in that setup all over the world. But it's been particularly challenging in a context where you already have a lot of um, restrictions to care and restrictions to access to medication and that we already have a pressure to do things urgently for patients because there's already a significant need and I think that's the problem that MSF is facing globally.